How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Draw the World. It's the series where we go on Google Earth, explore locations all around the world and look for something interesting to draw in the sketchbook. Now like usual, I ask some of you to leave a comment down below giving me some places where you'd like to see me do one of these. And of course, I've gone ahead, randomly selected one of your suggestions, and today's comment is from someone called Inkheart, and they uh, suggest us to go to West Virginia. And uh, they say it has some beautiful scenery there. Most people don't like driving for hours to go somewhere, but with all the mountains and trees and twisting roads, it's a pleasure and honour to experience some of God's creations like this. especially when it rains here it's lovely well that's my suggestion draw what you like it is just a suggestion well thank you for leaving the comment and uh, telling me a bit about the place I I'm really looking forward to going here today and um, having a look and seeing what it's all about now excuse me and um, I apologize in advance because I've got a bit of a sore throat today but we'll get through this all right we're, we're going to do it so let's look up West Virginia I'm uh, extra excited about this one because um, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with the the video game series Fallout but um, it's one of my favorite video games and uh, there's a new one coming out soon towards the end of the year which is set in West Virginia every one of these games is set in a place around the, uh, the United States and this one is set here so I'm excited to have a look at the place so let's zoom in a little bit closer and see what it's all about um usually I'm like above cities and stuff and I can see buildings and everything but with this there's just trees everywhere um, it's a place that's full of mountains and everything, but uh, let's just have a look and see what it's all about I have no idea where I'm going to throw our little guy down. There's a place called duck there And uh, there's a place called bogs all kind of uh, all these kinds of names But let's throw him down in somewhere called Birch River. Let's have a look and see what this place is like I'm sure uh, I'm not sure if it's just a random road or it might be some kind of uh, residential area, but let's wow look at this like yeah, you're definitely right about the uh, the landscapes and everything. And uh, it looks like it's been raining here, so you're lucky because we get to see it in the rain as well. Um, but let's head down this road, and it looks like there's some kind of small town area up here. So let's head a bit up here and see if we can get over there. Wait, first of all, let me just have a look and see what this is. Is that like a, a unicorn? <laughs> some kind of silhouette of a unicorn? near these wooden shacks. Um, that looks like a, an outhouse, uh, an old toilet, which is outside these uh, these buildings. I'm not sure if people are living in them. And there seems to be like some kind of wooden shack there as well. Uh, there's a lot of mud around here and uh, there's a, a bigger house over there. But that is a, a really cool looking house. It's crazy that um, there's like all these kinds of different places all around the world where people have different lifestyles and there's all these different things going on and um, just different environments where people adapt and are, are used to living but look at this underneath the bridge as well this is an amazing thing to see like some kind of river that flows underneath this bridge and um, if I lived here I'd just be walking about every day just having a look at all the views um, but I suppose it becomes normal if you live here you sort of get used to it uh, look at that for a view like underneath the uh, the bridge there's just this stream going underneath there probably up towards the mountains or something but uh seeing as we're in a location like this maybe we should uh, take it as an opportunity to draw some kind of landscape rather than drawing some kind of uh well i'm not going to draw a vehicle in a, a place like this for instance but i want to get to this small town which is kind of over to the to the left so let's take a left through here and see if we can get into this town called uh, Birch River, I think. Yeah, Birch River. Birch River Road. I'm excited about this location. What's this? Is this like some scarecrows or something which people have made? Uh, that might be a, a school or something over there then. I'm not too sure. There's a, a petrol station or a, a gas station, if you, uh, you, you Americans call it that. There seems to be a lot of these, uh, these pickup trucks and like jeeps around here, but I suppose you kind of need that ca that sort of vehicle if you're going to be driving around all these muddy tracks and roads and driving up mountains every day. But this is a, a really unique kind of place and it's something which is probably going to give me something good to draw. Um, I can see stuff that I want to draw already. So let's go 
a bit further up this road. I don't necessarily want to head outside of this small town. I'm probably going to find something around here anyways. Uh, these these houses as well, like these single detached houses uh, with the uh, the front porch and everything. It, it's just really like good to look at, especially when it's so different compared to where I'm from. Here in England, we don't have like anything like this. We have the countryside and stuff, but um, it's rare to see like these timber buildings with uh, front porches and uh, stuff like that. So that's quite interesting. There seems to be like some some construction material over there to the right. Uh, does that say anything? Can I read that? Uh, there seems to be like some kind of event being advertised. A veterans dinner Friday, November the 13th, 6 p.m. All vets welcome. And there's like some kind of camper van in the front of that house there. There's all of this stuff that's just so cool and I, I really want to draw everything. So I hope that I'm going to do um, this place again sometime. And this is just one small town in the place. But this is like a, an auto repair shop. Oh, there's also a subway here. So wherever that is, uh, is it round this corner? Maybe it's up there. Um, you can enjoy a subway in this town called Birch River. And uh, yeah, this is a an amazing place but we seem to be heading outside of the city so let's head back in and uh, find something to draw which I'm, I'm probably going to find quickly because I need to speed this up a bit I've really enjoyed doing this location but now it's time to pick out something and uh, sketch it in the sketchbook also um, I want to try and find something like a, a building but then have the landscape in the background because I really want to uh, prioritize drawing some kind of landscape and use this as that kind of opportunity. I've been exploring this place for a while just because I'm interested in a, a place like this. I'll probably edit this down a bit though because I don't want it to take too much time um, and I don't like to keep the exploration stage too long because a lot of you come here just to see the drawing as well but I hope you enjoy both parts of this. Like uh, I've said before this is sort of like separated into two stages where the first part is me um, exploring the location and then the second part is me uh, drawing what we have found. There seems to be all these separate houses dotted everywhere uh, which are interesting in themselves but I think I'm just going to go head back and see if I can uh, go to that starting location again and draw something over there. So let's head back and uh, yeah let's venture up this road, head back to the starting location. I definitely want to come back to this place though and do some drawing and maybe explore some of the small little towns around uh, West Virginia. All right, we're back at the starting point. We're at the uh, the stream and uh, there's the bridge going over it. There's some hills and mountains in the background. So let's draw this and uh, yeah, let's take it from there. So if you've been keeping up to date with the previous episodes in this series, then you'll know that I've been trying to get a chance to draw some landscapes and I think this was the perfect opportunity to do that. You know with this series, I sketch what we come across and so a lot of the time I am just working from a reference, but I don't usually like to do that too much these days, but for this series, it's an exception. It's almost like some kind of a, a travel diary that I'm creating here, except it's a collection of sketches and I've also been writing the look next to the drawings that I do as well. So I think it'll be good to flick through this book at a later date and look back on all of the sketches that we did through this series. Some of you have said to me that you have even been trying this out yourself because you've been inspired by this and uh, using Google Earth as a tool for finding things to draw. It's actually a really good program to have as an artist because if you are drawing something in a certain location then you can go onto Google Earth and explore it and get a better idea of it and seeing all of these places through this series is also giving me a better understanding of locations and how things change and uh, it's improving increasing my visual library so uh, looking at all these different locations looking at the buildings and how they appear um, in certain settings all of this uh, goes towards um, the work that I create from imagination and I can uh, take things away from what I discover in this series and then it uh, influences the uh, stuff that I create on the side as well so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that in the background that happens 
whilst I'm doing something like this. But I've, I've been working on a few things recently, like another illustration for the big project. I also did a, a Q&A on Instagram the other day, which is a new feature, and it's actually quite good. Instagram seems to be moving in the right direction, especially for artists and creators. I mean they even have that IGTV thing now which is, I'm not sure if it's trying to compete with YouTube but it's a vertical video which is different I suppose. It can work um, especially if it's built for like mobile phones because people hold their phones vertically anyway so that might might work for that kind of um, application but I, I, I'm not sure if it will compete with YouTube overall, maybe if they update it in the future. Um, I haven't had too much of a chance to look at it yet. But I'll probably end up creating some kind of formatted videos especially for that so if you want to go over to Instagram and follow me on there and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be putting out some content eventually for that IGTV tool as well but yeah everything's going good I've been creating some drawings I've uh, been making some videos I think I put out a tutorial the other day um, on how to rotate forms in perspective. We took an overall object and broke it down into simple forms and uh, I'm really enjoying that kind of aspect when it comes to drawing. It's, it's perspective drawing, being able to um, take objects and then draw them on different angles from imagination as well. If you can understand uh, some fundamentals like perspective and I'm also working on uh, learning and improving my understanding of anatomy then eventually you can pretty much draw anything without the need for a reference image and if you've been keeping up to date with all of my videos you'll know that that's sort of like the direction that I'm trying to head in um, but yeah that's pretty much everything this sketch is uh, turning out alright in terms of the sketch which you are seeing on screen a lot of it was focused on the texture how you can change the texture you create with the pencil slightly to create a separation between certain things. For example, a stream under the bridge can be seen because of the reflection and the stones and the slope on the side is a lot darker. I create these textures pretty quickly and uh, as soon as I was sketching, I wasn't taking too much time to draw everything exact. The hills which are further in the distance will be lighter and also I outline certain parts of the drawing like the bridge so that it pulls it out of the background a bit more. I normally just sketch uh, using one pencil which means I might be somewhat limited to the tones that I can produce but normally just changing the pressure of the pencil does a good job anyways. And uh, yeah I hope you like the way that this sketch has turned out. It's been quite a long video this one but uh, maybe you've stuck through it till the end so I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give the video a like because it helps me out. Of course feel free to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of the future content and uh, yeah that's everything. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.